the contrast with Mitch McConnell could not be starker. We now live in a nation where doctors destroy health, lawyers destroy justice, universities destroy knowledge, governments destroy freedom, the press destroys information, religion destroys morals, and our banks destroy the economy. So, doctors are destroying our health, right? They don't give a shit about our health. Lawyers destroy justice. Who gives a shit who is right? Universities destroy knowledge. We tell you what to think. Don't fucking think for yourself. Governments destroy freedom. Ah, we're big brothers watching you. The press destroys information. Well, you know, we need to be uh, good to our corporate contributors. Religion destroys morals. It's not moral to begin with, to be lying to people. And the moral core and principles of people are very rarely discussed in religious circles and our banks destroy the economy which we've already seen what happens there in Iceland they elected a radical who put the bankers in prison and you know um, basically the society has recovered because that was what they did as US Senator Alison Lundergan is going to have to take a stance on every issue under the sun. She's going to have to make a lot of decisions decisions about, you know, lots of different issues. And so we want to know every little bit of piece that we can figure out about her so that way we can see what kind of voter she will be. We know Mitch McConnell's a fucking slime ball, cor corporate piece of shit, but what about Matt Bevin? You know, what about Chris Payne? So... I think it was, see, um, we, we live in such a fucked up society that Alison Lundergan Grimes should be radicalized as Ashley Judd is, so she should be able to cr beat a Chris Payne. Chris Payne is a real Tea Party candidate. Matt Bevin is not. Matt Bevin may have a shot, but it could be a three way race. Um, with Chris Payne. And so he's a very radical person, and she will lose to Chris Payne. She will lose to Matt Bevin. So. Let's see, uh, Allison Lundergan Grimes won't lose to Miss McConnell. She'll probably lose to Matt Bevin, Chris Payne, if the Republicans are smart, um, or Gregory Brent Lichty, if the Democrats are smart. So she'll lose to Matt Bevin, Chris Payne, or Gregory Bregg Lichty, but not Miss McConnell. Allison Lundergan Grimes says nothing. Okay, so, so. Uh, she needs to have soul anyway. She needs to be a goddamn real fucking person so that way we actually know where she's going to stand. And I think it'd be better for her anyways because if the Republicans go radical and we go moderate, that's exactly how Mitch McConnell won the seat to begin with. It was 30 years ago. At the very least, you don't want to lose the seat. You don't want to lose your votes to any other progressive Ed Marksbury and a libertarian candidate's going to be there at the end. So we'll see how effective their campaigns are. But you need to co opt all of the votes, right? So if there is a candidate that's speaking more about the issues than you, then you need to you need to be able to speak about their issues, um, especially if it's an issue you agree with. Okay, so what's my problem with Allison Lundergan Grimes? Okay, I got so much issues with Allison Lundergan Grimes. Okay, so she doesn't say shit about the war. She goes on and on about protecting women and how women's mostly on the government doles when it comes to Medicare, when it comes to Social Security. So it's just women who's taking all this government money, right? And um, and she's sitting there saying that we must protect them, and we do need to protect the women, but we need to protect the men also. Uh, Senator Rand Paul had recently said that in the war on women, it seems like every one of his, the women in his life is doing fine, but we're the this, uh, this young men that's having issues, and that's uh, that's true that I see in my life, and I think it would, anybody, I don't know, there's um, uh, there's poor people, I looked at crime times, so everybody's getting fucked over by the police equally, everybody's poor, white, black, man, woman, old and young, gay, straight, so everybody's getting fucked over equally, they, so to say my shit sandwich is better than your shit sandwich, like get the fuck out of here, so... Alison Lundergan Grimes says nothing about the war for empire and conquest. She doesn't say shit about the military industrial complex. Just more money for the veterans. Let's give a shit more um, for the veterans. Let's keep on just giving it. So that's true. We do need to give a shit about them. But our military industrial complex is where we spend most of the money. We're, we're taking over the world. We're an empire. Empire doesn't help me. We have all these military bases. 900 military bases. 900. Why do we have 900 military bases? We're still in Germany. Why are we still in Germany? Why are we in Japan? Did didn't we get Hitler? Didn't we get fucking Toto or Tonto or whatever the fuck his guy, that guy's name was? The um, Toto? I don't know. The the, the leader of the, the Japanese army during World War II. So, instead of blowing more money on nukes, drones, murders, murdering innocent people, we could be using those trillions of dollars and investing in America. We could get ourselves some free internet, some brand new school buildings, hospitals, invest in domestic economies, infrastructure, healthcare, education. 
One fourth of our homeless are veterans, and 44% of the homeless are working, so they're working veterans on the street, right? Freezing. Hopefully, they don't get frozen to death right now. There are homeless people on Kentucky streets. We spend more military than Russia, China, Brazil, France, North Korea, five other top military countries in the world, and um, and it's got to stop. It's fucking ridiculous. We don't need to be because we're the world's policemen. That's why you know we have to spend so much on our goddamn military. Well, let's let's back off on that role. Let's take care of our own people on our own um, shores. And through the United Nations, it's through coalitions. That's the only way we should be, or unless we're attacked, it's the only way we should be involved in any more wars. Let's get out of this war business. That's why 9-11 happened, because we're an empire. 9-11 happened because we're an empire who reaches its tentacles in all these different places. And sometimes America could do good, but America's done a shit ton of bad. And especially since they got that cowboy uh, attitude, the American exceptionalism. We can go in your country and do as the fuck as we like and we're the good guys so it doesn't fucking matter and we just walk away. And that's that's not how it's happened. Many times we've actually been the fucking bad guys. We've supported the dictatorship, the brutal repressive dictatorship that's just murdering all the democratic uprising and the democratic fervor. So because we've done that type of shit, that's, you know, put a, the, the Putin won the... Um, Nobel Peace Prize, which said to me that even if the Syrian president was a bad guy, they the world thought that American intervention would have been worse than for this fucking president of Syria to be fucking kicked out. And um, and I'm pretty sure he is a bad fucking dude. He had chemical fucking weapons, and he wasn't going to say that he had them, that he used them, or anything like that. So. So yeah, so we need to use the United Nations umbrella more, you know, if they if the world decides that Rwanda has a genocide and they may need some of our troops and I think we could help them, but to be always on the first, you know, say hey, let's go here, let's go there. We need to quit doing that. We have way too many U uh, military bases. We've been an empire for over 116 years. Um, an empire doesn't help working class. It doesn't help me. We need to stop being an empire. Bring our boys home and let you know let the world be the world's policeman, not us. What about Palestine? What about Israel? Where does she come out of Palestine and Israel? Israel sitting there just wiping out Palestine. America gives all this money to the Arab leaders so they can take a, you know, to look away from Palestine too. Does Alison Lundergan Grimes believe in a two state solution? You know, she hasn't said a shit about the war. She is she anti war or is she pro war? Maybe she's very much in favor of the military industrial complex. So she's not Greg Lichty. She's a goddamn corporatist. She's a corporate militarist. Uh, the, Martin Luther King, he said racism, consumerism, and Militarism are the three evil heads uh, that you know we need to combat here in America. And she is—is is she a fucking militarist? She's not sitting there telling us what she thinks and where she's at. So you know we can only assume it's either one or the other. So she needs to have a backbone. She needs to start speaking her mind and saying it is what she believes because we don't know what the fuck you stand for, Allison. Um, she don't say shit about police brutality. She doesn't say shit about the, the military industrial complex. She doesn't say shit about the war on drugs. She doesn't say shit about Glass-Steagall Act, solar power, wind power. Police brutality, just look at crime times again. Like I said, white, black, old, white, you know, old, young, straight, gay. White, black, old, young, straight, gay, man, woman, everybody has been covered in the crime times. The police brutality is hitting everybody. The growing prison industrial complex is fucking a lot of people over. The NSA uh, wiretaps, she doesn't say shit about the Big Brother surveillance. So we got surveillance that's happening. We got military industrial complexes. We have, um, um, you know, we have, let's see, military industrial complexes, war on drugs, police, uh, Patriot Act, police brutality, prisons, NSA wiretaps, Big Brother surveillance. You know, surveilling on us, looking at our emails and our phone calls. When she gets that information, is she going to be like, you know, how many people are actually looking at this information and how many people are actually looking for terrorists, right? I saw that one fucking film where the guy was just looking over the ocean looking for terrorists. Give me a fucking break. That's, you're not going to find terrorists like doing that. And that's, that's you know, the te we don't have a big enough terrorism threat to employ something like that. So really, you got all these people that's looking through all this, you know, information and shit. They're probably just having fun, right? Looking at this asshole saying ha 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 and having a good laugh. Or they're looking at their ex-girlfriend's pages. Or they're looking at some of their enemies. So just like Nixon, they're creating their own personal enemies hit list. So it's the NSA. Um, she hasn't said anything about the Big Brother surveillance state. There's also two issues about Chris Payne that brought up Kim Trails and fluoride in the water. I think they're worth um, taking a look at. 9-11 truth. 
Congratulations. <coughs> I can't be sure, but I'm willing to bet that I'm the only candidate who can make any one of those three claims. Union member, veteran, no campaign donations. Now, Dizzy Dean used to say, if you've done it, it ain't bragging. Well, friends, I'm very uncomfortable bragging about myself, but by gosh, I've done it, and I think these documents prove that I've done it. I sincerely believe what I've demonstrated here today shows you that I'm by far the best candidate to represent you in the U.S. Senate. If you agree, please vote for me, but most importantly, share this video with everyone you know, your friends, your family, your parents, your kids, brothers, sisters, uh, social media contacts, and tell them to watch the video and tell them to tell their friends the same and tell them to keep it going on and on, going and going. That's the only way it can work. I don't have money for TV commercials. This is the only way I have to com communicate with you. I will continue to post more videos in the future, but I promise none of them will be this long. I'll, I'll hold them to about two minutes each, but you can click on the buttons here on my website to follow me on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. And again, tell everyone you know, and let's do it. Let's take our government back for the average, everyday people. I'm your man. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Brought to you by Ho Garden. <laughs> um, they didn't... They didn't pay me to advertise or to plug them, but since I am drinking it, they are, you know, bringing this scene that we're about to witness right here, right? It's a delis delicious Belgian wheat beer. So, Allison Lundergan Grimes, there's so many fucking issues with Allison Lundergan Grimes. She doesn't seem to give a shit. There are women in the military. There are women who's getting beat up by the police. There are women who are getting raped in prison. You need to give a crap about all the women, not just the middle class women, but every woman out there that's in trouble or distress that needs your help. So, you, Allison Lundergan Grimes does not talk about the police brutality. She doesn't talk about the Patriot Act. She doesn't bring up the NSA wiretapping. She doesn't bring up, um, you know, there's so many, the war, the military industrial complex, how basically the United States government, the budget, there's Medicare, Social Security, and the military. That's the three fucking, that's it. And that's it. There's Social Security, Medicare, or I guess Medicaid, and then you got. The military. So you got Social Security, military. And we, we it's such a fucking sacred cow, you can't even talk about, you know, you want to have a strong military, strong defense is what we say, even though we're initiating the wars just like what Hitler did. He invaded Poland, we invade Iraq, we invade Yemen, we invade Pakistan. And we're just, oh, it's, it's for good reason, you know. Oh, give me a fucking break. Um... The Ronald Reagan was supposed to just trust him that he was doing it for good reason, but he was repressing democratic companies or democratic political movements in defense of United Fruit Company. So because of American Banana Company, we're having to kill all these Latin American people. Um, where is Allison Lundergan Grimes when it comes to Glass-Steagall? What's she doing about Wall Street? Is she, does she want even regulate banks? Does she even give a shit about regulating the banks? She's taking some trust money. She's taking some corporate lawyer money. She was a corporate lawyer herself. NSA wiretaps are absent. Patriot Act is absent. Chief Louis Brandeis would be disappointed. He was all about pri privacy. Rand Paul speaking louder about these issues than Democrats are. Allison Lundergan Grimes doesn't mention election campaign finance change. Citizens United, does she want to change it or does she like the super PACs and taking all that money? Um, being the main contender against Mitch McConnell, I'm sure she was able to get a shit ton of money. Uh, is she in favor of public finance and the candidates? How would she fix this? Uh, Citizens United clearly should be over Turn. There shouldn't be any money in politics that's legalized bribery. We see that is legalized bribery. We see that Mitch McConnell is owned by the coal companies out of Oklahoma and the trust busters and goddamn motherfucking uh, <laughs> Donald Trump. Mitch McConnell is owned by Donald Trump. Mitch McConnell's got to do whatever the fuck Donald Trump says to do because he gave him $50,000. Uh, what about it was free internet? You know, Kentucky. Kentucky, the Appalachia, there's like 12 of the poorest counties in the entire America is in Appalachia, is in Kentucky. Um, 
Are they going to get some internet? Are they going to get some access? Are they going to get some running water? Latcher County don't even have running water. So we haven't talked about the poorest of the poor who don't even have the basic necessities. Internet these, these days are, is a necessity. With the internet, you can see what government is doing. You can do everything with the internet. You know, based, uh, essentially, you can apply for a job, get on college, see what the government's up to, watch the videos of the news reports. You know, you can produce your own content.